Hello everybody, welcome back to Steel Detailing channel where you can learn everything about building information modeling. Today we are going to take a look at few tips and tricks in Tecla structures. We have a sample model here. We have a W33 by 169 with a 3x4 inch cover plate welded to that beam. The connecting W16 by 40 beams are connected to the W33 by extended shear tab connections to the beam web. I'm gonna create a surface view with edge along the cover plate. If you haven't seen the video how to create a surface view with edge, click the card in the top right corner of this video, watch it and come back, I'll wait for you. If you look at the corner of the slots taken for extended shear tabs, there's no radius in the corners. If you select the cut, you can see it's a part cut extended to give clearance for extended shear tabs. If you select the work point, go to the properties, change the type to rounding and give half an inch at radius, it will be rounded in this direction cause it's a part cut. This is not something that we want. How many of us know that we can actually cut the cut itself to fill back the material? Go to the polygon cut, select the cut and draw the polygon. Let's copy this polygon to the right corner as well. Select the corner work points of both the polygon cuts, go to the properties, change the type to inverted arc and give quarter inch radius and modify it, which will form radius in the slots. Select those two cuts and mirror the cuts to the bottom of the slot as well. Select all 4 polygons and copy those to other shear tabs as well. We can see now all the slots have radius without much of a rework. Alright that's it for today, if you liked the video don't forget to hit the like button, if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. Thank you.